Welcome to China's villages and historic towns. Often touted for its ever-changing urban skylines, China's countryside shows a very different side of the nation and should be high on any traveler's list. From spectacular rice terraces to charming riverside villages, from mysterious to low buildings to snow-covered mountain towns. I traveled to China independently for more than a decade, on several occasions. And in this video I will share with you my personal top 10 villages to visit. begin our journey in Yuanyang, a beautiful mountain region with some of the world's most awe-inspiring rice terraces. It's a unique area, with breathtaking landscapes and friendly villages. Staying with local families is a great way to experience rural life here. And many are happy to show you around the terraces and lively farmers markets. From the south we travel to the far north of China to visit Shuixiang, which translates as snow town. Every winter this village is covered with layers of snow, turning it into a popular tourist attraction and feast for the eye. Located in the mountains of Heilongjiang province, temperatures can be extreme, especially during the nights, something you should prepare for. Next up are the peculiar two low buildings, found in settlements in remote parts of Fujian province. These structures were built by the Hakka people and served as a defense against bandits and rivaling communities. Usually between two and five stories tall, the Tulo 
are made from clay and soil and are a remarkable sight. One of China's most popular historic towns, Lijiang is a fascinating place to visit. Its cobbled streets and narrow alleys maintain an old-world charm, despite an ever-increasing number of tour groups. Originally built in the late Song dynasty, Lijiang's architecture contains elements from several cultures. Travelers combine Li Jiang with a trip to Dali, where you find the iconic Three Pagodas and beautiful Chungsheng Temple. We travel onward to Shaha one of the most authentic Tibetan villages, just outside Tibet. It's a deeply spiritual town, where pilgrims and monks make traditional koras, turning prayer wheels and whispering mantras. Located at almost 3,000 meters, the focal point of Shaha is the imposing Labrang Monastery, where you get a chance to experience Tibetan culture up close. Yang Chuo is surrounded by some of China's most mesmerizing natural landscapes. With limestone hills and mountains mixed with farmland and quiet villages. It's a tranquil place to visit, and travelers often stay longer than planned, captivated by the beauty and relaxed atmosphere. With almost 600 million people living in the countryside, the area around Yangshuo also gives a good insight into farming life in China. When you travel around China, you still come across paintings, pictures and statues of Mao Zedong, regarded as the founder of the People's Republic. Whatever your opinion about his legacy, visiting Mao's hometown, Shaoshan, provides an interesting glimpse into his childhood. Millions of Chinese visit Shaoshan every year in what is sometimes called red tourism, a government propaganda campaign 
to visit the historic Communist Party sites. Also in Hunan province is Fang Huang, one of China's most picturesque ancient villages. With a beautiful riverside setting, the town boasts incredible architecture, including stilt houses, stone towers, bridges, and a defensive city wall. Fang Huang was built more than 300 years ago and quickly became an important center of trade and cultural exchange. Today, it's making most of its money from tourists eager to relive some of China's past. With its brightly painted houses and classic stone bridges, it's easy to see why Zhu Jia Jiao is a popular day trip from Shanghai. While the main areas of the village can get busy, traditional ways of life continue to exist outside the main streets. And it's fascinating to walk the quiet back alleys. Don't miss out on traditional snacks such as zongzi, rice dishes wrapped in bamboo, which are made fresh on the spot. We finish our journey in Pingyao, maybe the best preserved ancient walled town in China. It was an important merchant hub during the Ming Dynasty and continued to grow as a center of trade. At some point, Pingyao was home to more than half of China's financial institutions before it fell into poverty in the 20th century. Many of the streets remain unchanged and you could spend days exploring the intriguing alleys. And that concludes my personal top 10 villages and historic towns in China. I hope this video gave you some travel ideas or at least provided a glimpse into village life in the country. If you enjoyed watching, feel free to give a like and leave a comment below. Thanks for your support and I hope to see you again next time. Travel safely!